Um, and my affiliation with the Rare Disease Foundation is I have a child that has two rare syndromes. The first one is polymicrogyria, and it's a rare brain malformation, which has caused him to be in a wheelchair and somewhat nonverbal, but we can certainly understand what he wants and what he needs. He also has epilepsy, and he also has a rare overgrowth syndrome called Weaver syndrome. So at five years old, he is 100 pounds and over four feet tall. So you, it's, you can imagine trying to get a 100 pound child who's in a wheelchair from point A to point B. <laughs> Um, we treat him no different than we treat our other two children. It's, you know, we up breakfast, he goes to school, he's in kindergarten, he does everything that any other kindergarten student would do. We just adapt it for him Is with lots of medical appointments and therapy appointments thrown in. <laughs> There's always research going on for um, polymicrogyria but it, the condition is static, so it's not going to change his life. Um, it may help maybe prevent somehow. Um, with respect to Weaver, there's lots of research going on with Weaver syndrome. Um, it's not going to change his treatment or his day-to-day -day life. However, one condition of Weaver syndrome is childhood cancer, so it may help um, better screening.